all in the same direction, picking up dirt. It has been so dry in many of these locations. It was blinding. It reduced visibility and definitely caused some tree damage with some 80 to 90 mile per hour wind gusts being reported from this. I just can't even imagine what this was like. We really missed out in Iowa on the damage. It looks like it is going to be fairly calm today. Not as hot. We have less wind. We did have some 50 mile per hour wind gusts overnight around Marshalltown and near Des Moines and Ankeny. Some spotty storm chances are in the forecast over the weekend, especially Saturday night and again Sunday morning. Sunday is when highs will be back in the 70s. Look at this inviting sky right now. 65 degrees. This is not looking to the west, though, because to the west, we do have some rain falling to the east. We have plenty of heat and humidity yet. This is where all the wind damage was reported across northwest Iowa, and the heaviest rain fell right here just south of Atlantic. Some rainfall totals coming in around a half inch, and we do still have some rain falling right through the heart of Dallas County. I want to show you this radar loop here because you can see in the overnight hours, this wind gust pushing through and that's what delivered the 50 mile per hour winds across central portions of the state. This is where the leftover rain continues to fall and it's pretty much just sitting there, but it will slowly be moving to the east, northeast and falling apart. We do have some storms to the south and we will be seeing some thunderstorms fire up along that eastern border of the state late this afternoon. At three o'clock, I really hope you have some outdoor plans today because it will be pleasant, sunny, light winds not as hot with some showers and thunderstorms popping up along that eastern border of the state late tonight and then moving out by tomorrow. Tomorrow will be beautiful sunshine once again, but definitely warmer and a little more unsettled. And there will be a chance for a brief pop up storm late Saturday. The best chance for rain over the weekend is Sunday morning. And again, this doesn't look widespread, but it would be a game changer early in the day, dropping a tenth to close to a quarter of an inch of rainfall on Monday 70s and some sun sunshine by Tuesday, more clouds, and by Wednesday, I am seeing some rainfall back into the state. Here's a breakdown of the numbers today. Upper 70s across most of Iowa, much warmer along that eastern border, and then tomorrow we'll be back in the mid 80s with some sunshine. Make some cool plans tomorrow. Today, the weather conditions will be improving rather rapidly. We still have some rain working its way through. That will end by around 10 a.m., and then tonight, we're actually going to see partly cloudy skies and some comfortable temperatures. 55 for the low tonight will be a great night for a fire. On Saturday, sunny 85, that slight chance of a brief storm late in the day. On Sunday, that rainfall early and a high of 71. That will be our coolest day of the weekend. On Monday with some sunshine, 77. On Tuesday, 75. More scattered showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday with a high of 73. And on Thursday, right around 80 degrees. In May, we should typically be around 71 degrees. Today will still be above average, but it looks really nice this afternoon. It also looks really nice Saturday morning. This is a graphic I was trying to put together at the DMAC campus in Ankeny at 10 a.m. is a JDRF one walk. This is from 20 years ago. I was going to say, I was like, this, this, uh -huh. can't, this cannot be recent. No. Nope. <laughs> what you're saying, I don't still look like that? No, your hair is different. What I'm trying to point out here is 20 years ago, I had no clue I would have a son mm. with type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. You never know how your life is going to change, right. but it's important to help those kids that are suffering with this right now and those parents and be there for them. It's going to be a beautiful day to yeah. walk. You only have to walk a mile tomorrow Not morning, bad. and hopefully we raise a lot of money and find a cure. Yeah, I just sent you that picture of when we I did know. a story, um, and, and Luke was six at the time. He's now, what? 13. 13. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, time time is a thief 